Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role-playing game. Step 19, all right. So JavaScript interacts with the HTML using the document object model, or DOM. The DOM is a tree of objects that represents the HTML. We can access the HTML using the document object, which represents our entire HTML document. So one method for finding specific elements in our HTML is using the query selector method, right? So the query selector method takes a CSX, pardon me, CSS selector as an argument and returns the first element that matches that selector. For example, to find the H1 element in our HTML, we would write let HTML equal document.querySelector H1 like this inside of quotes. And we're going to note that the H1 is a now H1 is a string that matches the CSS selector we would use. Okay. So this is my second time going through, so this makes perfect sense to me. But the first time I know, I know I was having trouble with this. So I'm let's go through it. All right. So the first thing's first. Whenever we see something like this, uh that means that there's probably more than likely going to be an easy to find uh, documentation page on our main source. This is going to be our main source of documentation after we're done with this. Because, I mean, let, let's face it, we can't just say, oh, what did what did step 19 say about query selectors? Impossible. So we're going to have to uh, we're going to use this method right here. So we'll come over here to Google and we'll say query selector JavaScript in the bar. All right. And the first thing that will usually pop up is an MDM web doc that says whatever we need it to be. And in this case, it's going to be document query selector method web, I, web APIs MDM like this, right? So we'll click this and we can see right here document query selector method like that. So let's read about it. Uh, the document method query selector returns the first element within the document that matches the specified selector or group of selectors. If no matches are found, null is returned. And here's a little note. The matching is done using depth, for, okay, no, we're not gonna go into that because I don't know what that means. Uh, just by the first couple of words, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, so here's the syntax, right? So we've got query selector and inside of these parentheses, we're gonna put selectors. Now this thing right here is called a parameter, all right? Uh, we'll get into what parameters are later down the line, but just for just to get you a little familiar right now, this thing's called a parameter. So the parameter selectors is a string containing one or more selectors to match. This string must be valid CSS must be a valid CSS selector string. So just like over here where it said where it's H1, it's got to be a valid CSS selector string. Uh, if it isn't, a syntax pardon me a syntax error exception is thrown. So whenever there's errors, it's called thrown, right? Uh, and it's just something you're going to, well, you'll see that a, a bajillion times from here on out. Uh, so we're going to see locating DOM elements using selectors for more information about selectors and how to manage them. So you can see right here, these are the, on these pages, there are rabbit holes to go down and you can go through them and learn all kinds of stuff. If you're feeling like it, we're not going to go that deep. We're going to keep it very shallow. But, uh, and this has been pretty deep so far, but we're gonna keep it pretty shallow here. So let's come back here. Uh, we're gonna create a button one variable and use the query selector method, all right? And another thing, this is just to get you familiar with it. So just chill out if you're getting a little uh, uh, over your head. Trust me, we are in, we are in ankle deep water right now. Uh, we're gonna use query selector method. And so whenever you see something written like this, it's pronounced, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know how other people do it. And whenever you see this, you just say query selector method or the match method or the uh, array dot from method. Whenever you see these right here and you didn't write a function yourself, which we haven't gone through what functions are, but we'll, you'll know later, it's called query selector method or match method or, or the uh, something something method, right? And so when we're gonna use the query selector method to assign it our element with the ID of button one. And we'll remember that CSS ID selectors are prefixed with a hashtag. All right, <laughs> that's a lot. So let's get to it. Uh, <laughs> I know, look, I know, I know it's a lot because I I did this before the first time through. You can go watch the video if you want. And I had no idea what was going on either, but just, just bear with me because it'll make perfect sense. All right, so what we're doing 
is we're going to make this thing, but it's going to be for button one, right? So we're going to say let, let, whoops, let button one equal, and we'll say document dot query selector. And then we'll have inside of these quotes, we'll do hashtag button one, all right? So this button one is targeting this right here, all right? And as we remember from the previous lessons, this right here is this right here. So this is what's going to help us manipulate this thing in the future. We're going to say uh, button one change to uh, go to piano and button two change it to go to ice cream store, you know, stuff like that. Uh, this this that's what's going to help us manipulate this stuff in the future. Right. Just letting you know, let's uh, press the N key, cap it off with a semicolon like that. And that should take care of it. Let's check the code. Looks good. <laughs> and submit it. Look, I know it was convoluted. Okay, I know it was com it was it was complex and complicated and convoluted. But look, tr guys, it, this is just the first part. It's just to get you uh, familiar with it. All right, no big deal. This is no big deal. Like I said, ankle deep water. We're literally just we're not we're not where the sharks are by any stretch of the imagination. All right. So now we're OK. So now we're on to step 20 and we'll see you next time.